In this presentation, we'll look at the reporting options for S4 HANA. While running your S4 HANA, you can still run all your traditional SAP ERP reports, such as your FAG LL03, 4 GL account line item, your FBL 3N, your FBL 1N, all your GL open items, your vendor open items, your customer open items, all your legacy transactions will still work in S4 HANA. But there are some additional reports given by S4 HANA and we look into them, which will give you better insight into the data. I have given a sample screenshot of one of the S4 HANA reports. This is an example for a cost center, plan, actual and variance report. Now you can see the report layout looks slightly different. This is the selection screen. Now in this selection screen, you can put your fiscal year, posting period, your company code, functional area, profit center and so on. Now there are some additional benefits in these reports. You can see that you can also put the profit center as well. In the previous cost center report in legacy ERP that you're not able to put a profit center, you can only put your cost center or cost center group. And you can also put your cost element or cost element group, but here it's called GL account. In SOHANA, the cost element is also created as a GL account. We will look into that more in detail in the upcoming slides. In addition, you can also put the cost center hierarchy, a part of your standard hierarchy also, you can mention it over here. And the report options, you can give it as a graphical report or drill down report and so on. Those, whatever you had in your legacy system reports, the same, the same functionality will be available in S4HANA as well. The main advantage of running the S4HANA reports that it's much faster than your traditional ERP reports mainly because of what we had discussed earlier, the way the structure and the universal general ledger is configured and the hardware used in SVHANA makes it much faster to run. You can also twist between the columns and the rows between in your reports. For example, in this screenshot over here, I have shown the selection criteria where you can put, the, for example, a profit center. Do you want to display in columns or do you want to display them in rows? And you can see your values according to that. Similarly, you can also do that for your cost center as well. So that option you can see over here, the horizontal and the uh, vertical lines over here. And you can switch your fields based on the report, whether you want to display the GL accounts in rows or GL accounts in columns, or do you want to put the cost center in rows and cost center in columns, all that you can manipulate using this functionality. So next to each of these fields, you will see that you want to put them in rows or in columns. So this is very advantageous, especially if you want to do some drill down reporting. This feature was not available in your legacy system reports. There are also some pre-built reports in S4 HANA. It's called HANA Live Reports. You may need to buy a separate licensing to get the HANA Live Reports. Uh, depend based on your subscription, it might be available for you as free as well. Now, these HANA Live reports are interactive reports. For example, if you look at these accounts receivable analysis reports, you get the total value of your accounts receivable in over here. This is based on the criteria you have defined over here by based on your company code and so on. Then you get a split by each different customers. You also see by your net due dates when it is due. And you can see by company codes also, you can run this for many different company codes. You can see the areas in days, ranges, and if you have geographical locations, you can see by geographical locations as well. Now, in this example, all this amount is in Australia. But if you have within Australia, if you want to see by states or by regions in different countries and so on, you can get that split as well. Now, this is very important that you can see all of this information in one single screen. This makes it much easier for analysis. And this is available for accounts payable, profitability analysis, and a few more uh, reports which SAP has developed for HANA users. Now you can also see there are some bar charts given, pie charts and so on. You have all these options. You can select what type of reports you want to run. Do you want to run the traditional charting reports or you write the pie reports or you want to see the scattered graph reports and so on. You can go through many different options. These are all available via the HANA live reports. The only uh, negative option, um, aspect is here that you cannot drill down to the actual document number like what you have in your traditional ERP reports because these all have a different interface and, and they capture the values and put them in a graph. So you cannot simply double click and go to the actual line item document. However, the functionality or the main purpose of these reports is to see them in graphs and charts. 
So again, I've just given you all the options of what are the reports available in the HANA Live reports. You can see many different types of pie charts, scattered graphs, and so on. All these line item, um, line graphs reports are available. And you can see on the left hand side all different type of reporting for different type of modules are also available. These are all pre-built. And these keep on getting updated with each, with each new release by SOHANA. Another good reporting tool is the Fiori apps. With the Fiori apps, you can also see your reports and you can also do transactions with your Fiori apps. SAP has developed the Fiori apps just to make it a bit more um, easier for the users that by clicking on tiles, these are all like you call them each of these as a tile, and just clicking on the tile, you can come out with the report. If you want to do your transaction also, you can just simply click on a tile. You can group similar tiles to what you use your day to day uh, work, or you can use it by, um, by you can group it by your different modules or different tasks and so on. So, for example, you get Fury apps for your cost center plan actual reports, you get your project reports, your PL reports, and so on. So Fiori Apps is a very user-friendly reporting tool. We will have a detailed presentation on Fiori Apps, what are the different categories of Fiori Apps, um, how you can structure your Fiori Apps and so on in a later presentation. Just an example, like if you click on a Fiori App tile, uh, you call this as a tile and you can see if it's a dollar amount, that means it's going to come out with a dollar amount um, value. So the this is just a blank report. You can see if you run it for your um, ledger, leading ledger, you can select your company code. You can put all the GL accounts or you can select a GL account. You can put your fiscal years, periods and so on and you can come out with the report. Let's look at some of the advantages of the Fiori apps. Uh, it's a personalized role based launchpad. So you can design how you want your screen with the Fiori app tiles, um, how many you want, how you want to group them and so on. You can use it on multiple devices, your laptop, tablet, mobile, PC and so on. You can even bookmark a few Fiori apps, Fiori tiles. You can share them with your other users. You can create your own background design theme and so on. You can search for some tiles and add them in. There are so many tiles available. SAP is keep on developing for each different type of report they're creating new tiles and so on and you can even create your own catalogs with different set of grouping of tiles and so on so there are plenty of advantages with the fury apps another cool feature of the fury apps it gives you real-time information in the app tile itself for example you can see how many unused contract for the last 75 days and the number just comes up um, your different information regarding purchasing or any other dollar amounts or percentages amount, you can see them in real time. And you can see over here of contract spend 90% and so on. And you can also put a refresh rate, like how often do you want this to refresh every five minutes or 10 minutes and so on. So this gives a real time view of what is your amounts or what is your percentages or what is the usage of your organizational needs. So this concludes our reporting presentation. So we saw many cool features of S4 HANA reports. We saw the inbuilt HANA reports, the HANA live reports, Fiori apps, and then SAPs keep on developing new reports for HANA users.